it doesn't look the same at all. This just happened in the last video, the comparison between the R5 and the Sony a7S III. The footage looked great inside Premiere, then I go to export and it looks nothing like I color graded. It drives me nuts. First off, I just wanna say I've missed you guys. I feel like there's been cameras and reviews and stuff just getting in the way of our friendship. But don't fret, we can, we can fix that. First we just needed. <laughs> Remember that super delicious watermelon Red Bull? Thanks Red Bull, very much appreciate this. This watermelon stuff is Pre-Ranger shampoo, temple smoke, sea salt spray. This is all stuff from Beard Brand. Thank you very much Beard Brand for uh, taking care of my beard, I guess. It's gotten a lot shorter. In fact, looking at back at some of the quarantine videos of how long my beard is, I was just like, what the heck? We, we going to fish it, buddy. We're gonna go help my uh, parents kind of set up the cottage a little bit. And I think this looks better. We are Anik and Philip, a Belgian couple on a mission. We normally run a brand building agency focused on helping clients build brand by another. When the pandemic hit, everybody started wearing masks. We noticed that we lost a lot of ourselves. We did not only hide a part of our face, but also part of the smile and expressions. Does it look like me, guys? <laughs> That's trippy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. it says 15% off your order if you use that code. Filmmakers, create. Maddie, thank you for being a part of Filmmakers community. Keep inspiring the world the way you do, and remember, creativity is a gift. You cannot earn it, so never lose it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Whoa. <laughs> that is a serious knife. What the heck? Browse blades? My, I thought this was a serious knife. This is a real serious knife. Hi Maddie, this is a gift for you. Thanks so much for your vlog and your YouTube content. I continue my joy of photography and I hope to vlog eventually. There's so much opportunity out there. I don't know how kids sleep at night. Take care. Raymond, I, I think that says Raymond. This is a serious, serious night. Thanks Raymond, appreciate it. I don't wanna cut myself. Uh, you guys all know what happened with me and Peter's knife. Okay, there. that's how you undo it. If you need a serious knife, check out Browse Blades. I'm probably saying that wrong. I should probably use it for the rest of this unboxing. <laughs> it's a little shirt for Kai music bed. Thanks guys, this is awesome. Is this for, is this for new baby that's coming? <laughs> that's so cool. Some coffee, which I've more recently started drinking. I assume this is for baby. You guys gave me a $50 gift card to Amazon? That's super nice. That'll pay for some, uh, I don't know how many diapers, but for some diapers at least. I think it was just yesterday, I was telling my wife, I, I really wanna make a clothing line at some point. Like not, not merch, I wanna make like a clothing line. I appreciate clothes, I appreciate nice clothes. I, I like it simple, but I appreciate them. So thanks Music Bet, this was very nice of you. This I un unboxed with Schiffer when we were testing out the A7S III. <laughs> It's a drone from Beagle Drones. I have to probably like actually open this up and like set it all up uh, in another video. But thanks so much Beagle Drones for uh, sending this. I think I already know what this Naya Evo backpack. This thing looks pretty solid. This feels very high quality and it feels very waterproofy, if you know what I mean. Uh, these are like legit. Like if I was going on a trip to like Faroe Islands, which I very much want to go to, or Iceland or something, this is the kind of backpack I feel like you need. This is like, this is gonna be fine with all the elements, the rain, very like waterproof and just so many compartments. I very much like camera cubes and having them uh, be a part of the backpack system. Naya Evo, thank you very much for, for these very high quality backpacks. Appreciate it. I've honestly been so, so busy over the last like two weeks uh, trying to review these 
insane cameras that are coming out and making all those videos. I love editing these kinds of vlog type videos, but when it comes to like the bigger review videos, you're shooting a lot of footage and things are going wrong. For example, the R5 footage just wouldn't work in Premiere. I had to download the beta and then that was just like shutting down my computer. And then finally I just went to Final Cut Pro and used it on it. It took hours just to figure out how I could <laughs> edit the R5 footage. And that's when I was really missing Matt uh, I wish he would have been right there just like helping me out. Uh, so I'm starting to think maybe I do need, maybe there's areas, cause I feel so like busy all the time. Maybe there's some areas that uh, I do need some help with. And I'm starting to think like, I, I don't really know what exactly, what kind of skills person I need right now, whether it's like a photographer who does my thumbnails and Instagram, or is it an editor who helps me out with certain editing, or is it somebody who can shoot really cool stuff, or is it just like a, like an intern assistant type person and I don't know yet, uh, but I'm thinking I might put out like a, like a call on the channel. So keep that in mind if you're a filmmaker, photographer, editor, any of those things. But speaking of Premiere, this drives me nuts. You know when you've spent a lot of time color grading in Premiere and it looks really great and you're excited and then you go and export it and then it looks like this. What the heck? That's not even close like the contrast is all different the saturation it doesn't look the same at all this just happened in the last video the comparison between the r5 and the sony a7s3 the footage looked great inside premiere then i go to export and it looks nothing like i color graded it drives me nuts so i decided to finally figure out what is going on i heard there might be like a fix for it um and I have good news, there is a way to fix that. So what you have inside of Premiere, your color grade inside of Premiere looks the same as the export. Now, I don't know why Premiere does this, but basically they're making it by default so that when you export, it would look right on a TV, essentially for broadcast, but Adobe Premiere. None of us are exporting for broadcast. Like there's so few people that are actually exporting for broadcast and there's probably so many people exporting for online. I think that should be the default, but there's a way to fix this. So first what you need to do is go to your preferences here, general. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select this display color management, requires GPU acceleration, check that on. And then watch what happens here. Okay, you saw that it went a little bit darker and it's a little bit more saturated. That's what happened. Now this doesn't look as good as what I had it. But now what you do is color grade it the way that you want. So this is now looking uh, like, like I want it to look. It probably looks kind of bad on here because it's getting double color graded right now. And then when you go to export, sorry, this is like the cheapest version of a screen cap right here. Just put in your normal settings here, what you would do normally, and then go into this little effects tab. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply this LUT this QT Gamma Compensation Cube, which I'll link down below. And then when you export with, I don't know why it says none, but there is one there. Then when you export that, that's what it looked like inside of Premiere. And that's what the export looks like. It's the same thing versus not what I color graded. This is what I had. This is what I end up with. I don't want that. I want this. Now you can color grade your footage so it looks good inside of Premiere. You're good to go. You export it and it'll look the same. There's maybe like a tiny difference, I but barely any difference. Whereas in the other way, the, the defaulted way, there's a massive difference in between your edit and the export. I have been struggling with this for years, years. I've always been like, what is going on? Why do the colors never look the same? And I, I just thought it was like a codec thing or something, but no, it's just the way Premiere is by default and you can actually fix it. Uh, so I'll link down below the, the whole instructions and the, the LUT that you have to apply. It's a little bit of an extra step, but it's really easy. Um, yeah. 
I'm really happy I actually figured this out and I'm sorry if you guys all knew this and uh, I'm just like late to the party here. If you're like me and you're picky about colors and color grading uh, and you're never happy with it, this will make you happy. If you're a premier user, Final Cut Pro users, you guys have it good. It always just worked like it's supposed to by default. Um, Premiere Pro users, we have to, we have to, you know, do an extra little step, but it's all good. It's all figured out now. We can all calm down. I'm fine. But I do apologize that the colors did not look as intended on that uh, comparison between the, the R5 and the Sony A7S III. Both cameras, by the way, look great. Great cameras. Very excited uh, to use both more and to figure out which system I'm going to end up with because everything is up for grabs right now. This is way too much Red Bull. No person should drink this much Red Bull. This is like one of those like Crocodile Dundee, like that's not a knife. And your wallet. <laughs> that's not a knife. That's a knife. Uh, my accent is terrible. This is a knife. Oh, there's a note from Musicbed. I missed this. Uh, hey, Maddie, congratulations on the new addition to your family. We're so excited for you all and can't wait to see pictures of the beautiful new babe. Love your music bed fam. Thank you. That's very nice of you. I'm going to save that there. It's conveniently garbage day today. All right, time to pack up. Uh, head home, have some dinner, maybe go and do something fun out in the sun. Uh, I have a feeling you guys have probably missed a, a little someone. Found a nice little spot to play in the sand. Kai, you want to say hi to everybody? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. What do you, you want to say to them? Busy playing? Yeah. You want to say see you later? Yeah. Oh, you're tired. All right, see you guys. Yeah.